Hello, my fellow Spuds, and welcome back to another episode of Kenshi. So, we are here with our trusty crew. Not much has happened since last episode. We bought a couple of books to uh, just start the process of researching a few more useful items. We got some more bedrolls so we can all rest up if anything does happen to us. We've also got a spare in here. So we've got a total of four, which is really good because we're probably going to need up to four when we actually go out training very, very soon. However, we were a little bit short in our party. We've got sneaky person but clearly just katana we've got heavy weapons user ruka which is probably going to be heavy weapons user as well we've got leon who is also katana we've got mew who's probably going to be pole arms green as ranger we need more rangers like preferably another two three but i would settle for one right now so i think we should go scout out squin and see if we can find someone decent to recruit there's lots of really overpowered check here, which would be really nice to have. Jeff has a very nice hat on, but I'm not quite sure about that. You've got a very fancy flippy thing, but I'm not going to bother with that. Uh, is there anyone else around here? Ooh, you have a crossbow on your back and you have a eye patch. You must be a recruit. Surely, and I can talk to you. Who are you? Ace, the drifter. And he's shopping. Talk to him quick. <laughs> Take a seat, the stranger. Have a drink. Have you ever heard of the best shop in this here border zone? Can't say I have. Good, because you're in the company of the best shop right here. Ace the Dead Eye is the name. Takes a large chug of grog. What, what, you just carry grog around with you? We do need a good shot. Best shotter, I bet you have some great stories. Oh yeah, I've hunted banshees in the sunken caves and large leviathans all the way to the coast. I've shot a green fruit right off a noble's head. Uh, at least it was near his head. Maybe he was eating it. When it's, uh, hit the green fruit. Not the noble, unfortunately for some. Damn, sounds like you've done some pretty interesting stuff. You knows it. It comes with the territory of being the best shot in the border zone. What happened after you shot the green fruit off the noble's head? Let's just say that's uh, how I became the best shot in the border zone. Oh, so mysterious, huh? Ace. So what do you think, the stranger? About what exactly? Could you use a bowman? Some say the best. <laughs> so he says the best. Hell yeah, if you're even half the bowman you make yourself out to be. Regardless, uh... Looking for ways out of town. Looking to be the best shot in the Great Desert soon enough. Show all those smug nobles. Well, that's good, because we're going to go to the Great Desert soon, and you can really make a name with Ryoshi, which is nice. You're welcome to join us if you want. Trouble is, I need 10,000 cats. Ah, that is a lot of money. But he does make out like he's the best. He does have a bow. He is a ranger. I do have the money. Sure, I can swing that. Get your bow. Right, okay. Ace. Uh, let's have a look at you. Okay, that's amazing. You're on par with green. I literally couldn't have asked for anything better. The eye patch increases perception bonus. That's bizarre. You would have thought it'd be the opposite. Well, welcome Ace to the team. Good, good stuff. So we've got another ranger. We now have the makings of a very, very good team. I think what I'd like to do is do some proper training today. Mew should come along with us as well. I mean, we don't have any research for her to do right now, so we might as well all just go. Right, so we're at the hub again. The place is just as crazy as ever. There's so many people here, it's ridiculous. Uh, I think we've got a chance against these hungry bandits. So I think that's go try and take them out quickly before they actually get to the hub. They're very, very weak. It's a good starting squad to try and take out. That's attack unprovoked. Green and Ace, you've got up here. That's a lot of starving bandits that have just appeared out of nowhere. Get back, get back. Take them on again. How are we doing? I think, I think we're okay. Okay, the, the other starving bats are joining the fight. Oh, I forgot to take our bags off. No. Good. Right. Everyone just attack. Keep taking them on. Come on, this is good training for everyone. We're actually doing not that bad. Come on. Keep attacking them all. We're going inside now. We're just absolutely annihilating everyone. Get back here. Because I think we've um, spread ourselves a little bit thin. That was good. That was a good first attack. And how did everything go? I don't think we're injured that much. We took minimal damage, I would say. That's pretty good. So, let's not forget our backpacks. Thank you. I don't think that's the right people wearing them all, but that's quite nice. So, we've got a couple of weapons as well. We've got long cleaver, and we've got a topper there, which we can take. And they look like quite nice weapons. Who are you? Holy Nation Outlaws, malnourished. Yeah, no. We kind of want to stick with easier targets, like just dust bandits or hungry bandits would be the best thing to do. Should we? I don't think there's going to be anything of any worth on these people. I mean, the poor guys, we've just completely decimated them. They've got nothing to show for it. But to be fair, it's probably the sort of targets that Ryoshi would go for. He probably sees them as less than skilled.
scum, because that's the United City's way. Not sure if the others would agree with it, but whatever the case. Ooh, White Eyebrow Clan. They might be interesting to try and take on. They're both pretty injured already. Saying that, I think that Holy Nation Outlaw is probably going to take them on solo. That's a... Uh, come on then, attack them. Go. Nice, nice, excellent. Band of Bones. There's only two of them and they're both hungry. I reckon we can take them on. They're, they're a bit stronger than our normal peoples, but I reckon we've got a shot. Right, Ace and Green, you stay up there. The rest are going to go back here. We're going to attack unprovoked. You just hit us, you dick. <laughs> uh, okay, they did hit hard. They hit very hard. Let's drop all our bags. Oh, Isaiah's down. Massive hit to the head. Right, the range characters are doing their thing. Yeah, that guy's nearly down. He is down. Good. Mew, then. You put on standard backpack, please. And then loot him. There we go. You can take it now. Right, and this one is nearly there. What is that stance? I'm sorry, but what? <laughs> there we go. Right, it's down. It's down. Look at that. 20 kilos. That's a much better plank than what we've currently got. So I think that might be a good one for Isaiah. Everyone get their backpacks on, then. Uh, how injured did we get in that? Fairly injured, but it could have been a lot worse. Ooh, there's two more Band of Bones. Uh three more band of bones are we gonna be able to take them on don't know ace what are you doing run you fool run 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 right now we're not gonna outrun them at all damn and none of them are injured oh this is gonna be tough because they're gonna be able to hit hard once again chuck everything on the floor let's do a tackle hope for the best ace you get back here green you get back here as well yeah ace both you get here and then just attack that one Try and keep him on the back foot a bit. Plea bag, I'm sorry, but you might be pretty injured at this point. Oh, Isaiah's down again. Are we doing all right? We're doing better than I thought we would. They do hit hard, but I think at this point, we've just got numbers on our side, I think. Plea bag just annihilated that guy. <laughs> um, I thought there were three. Where's the third one? Oh, there. No. Where is the third one? Exile camps been wiped out. Okay, so that was the Band of Bones. Just took all them out. That's amazing. Right, and that's uh, loot these guys. I can't believe how well Fleabag did against that guy. Just held his own. That was incredible. But whatever the case, we took out Band of Bones with minimal, minimal uh, injuries. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that. I think that went a lot better than I was expecting. Let us go back to Squin then. We can lick our wounds, heal up a bit, and we can go from there. Toughness really hasn't gone up that much, to be honest. I mean, it's a bit sad. Isaiah's toughness has gone up a bit, which is nice. Our melee attack is slowly going up, which is nice. I mean, 12, nearly 13 is amazing. I think we do need to take on weaker targets, though. Uh, like, much weaker targets en masse. So we can get knocked down, but only marginally, and then get back up again. Because that will increase toughness considerably. We just need to keep getting hit. Yeah, getting hurt, getting beat up, losing battles is how we get toughness up. So we're going to have to keep losing these little battles. Right, home sweet home. Just coming up to Squin. We'll uh, rest up for a bit, and then I think what we're going to do is we're going to pack some of our sleeping bags, and we are going to venture out a little bit further. So I think going into this section might be a better idea. We can explore a little bit of here as well while we're out here, because we don't really know what much of what is here. But I think there's quite a lot of bandits here, and Ace has mentioned that he knows of a place where there's lots of bandits here, between the Border Zone and the Deadlands. So I think this might be a good opportunity to go there. Right, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go pack our bag. I think we're going to set off and then I'm going to probably cut to a little training montage of us fighting people because obviously we're going to be here forever. Right, we discovered Cliff's Edge. Normally, that is a trading outpost. Right, it must be. It's got a mechanical shop there, so I'm presuming it still is. Can we see anyone there? Drifters. Tech hunters. Okay, we should be able to go there. Should be fine. And this is a good place to kind of camp out and use as a temporary base while we move across into the kind of like no man's land. I don't know if this still counts as border zone. I don't think it does. I don't know what this counts as. It doesn't really have a name. It's just like the middle of nowhere. Okay, and we've discovered tiny settlement, which are just like ruins. So we could go in. Fine, we'll buy the books there. It's only a 4% markup. I guess we'll go into the bar for a minute. Right, let's talk to the barkeep. What do you have on you then? Uh, ooh, bolts regular. Oh, we need research bench level two. That's a shame. Uh, so what do we have? Ooh, they've got. They've just got a thieves backpack, a medium one outright. That's a lot better than one of the ones we've currently got. So I'm going to buy that straight away. Mark up a pale ale, a pale ale lager. That's very interesting. Glorious holy map. Buy that because we don't have that yet. We've got the map of Vane. 
Ace doesn't have a proper backpack. So you know what? Uh, we actually trade with Ace. Congratulations, you've got a proper backpack now. So, apart from Isaiah, I think we're basically healed. So I guess let's push on to the tiny settlement. We'll see if we can loot anything from there. I don't know if uh, Universal Wasteland expansion changes it so it's owned by anyone. I'm really hoping not. Oh, there is fighting going on up at the tiny settlement. Uh, Narcos Disciples. There's a lot. Vagrants, Holy Nation Outlaws, Narcos Disciples. Lots of Narcos Disciples. And they're all pretty strong. What is going on over here, though? This is nuts. There's loads of people. Tell you what, then. I think we should probably leave that. Let's just go over there. What's it called? Phantom Knoll. Holy Nation Outlaws own it. Okay. Interesting. Well, we're going to leave that for now because they're just constantly fighting each other. Well, we desperately need to find some people who we can actually fight who aren't going to kill us outright. So I'm really hoping we can find some in this uh, no man's land over here. Uh, the Holy Nation are right there. Well, we definitely can't fight them. Look at them all. <laughs> There's so many. Well, we've got some starving bandits here and I think they would be a good starting point to try and take out. They're quite a small group, but we might be able to find some more later on. Right, here we go. So... Uh, green go over there, Ace go over there. Oh, and they just start attacking us straight away. Okay, interesting. Right, you lot then. Attack. Go. Nice, all greens. Okay, green's like a hand-to-hand -hand fighting. Uh, no, green, you're range. What are you doing? You've run... No, you haven't run out of ammo. What are you doing? Come on. This should be an easy fight. Right, there we go. We're now on the lookout for more peoples. I'm not going to attack the wild bulls. They will destroy us instantly. Normally loads of bandits here, but it looks like we are coming up a little bit empty. I've got a character here called a looter. He's got a giant backpack. I don't know if he's friendly or what, but we could try and catch up to him. He's quite strong. Right, here we go. He's coming. He's coming. Right, we've got a good hit in. Ryoshi, you're going to take him on? Or you're just going to stand there? Ryoshi, what are you doing? Just attack him. Sorry, how hard is he hitting us? That's another looter. Okay, Ryoshi, attack that one. There we go. I'm right, getting a few good hits in. Okay, there's another one. Right, one's down, one's down. Large backpack. Oh, it's not a thieves backpack, but still, I will take that. Thank you. And I forgot to take our bags, so we are fighting with a handicap. Right, there's another one down. Take the stuff off him. Right, last one. Yeah, their martial arts is amazing, so we are getting some damage done to us. Jesus Christ. Green is just completely crippled. How's the rest of us doing? Not bad. There we go. Right, uh, ace you loot him. Right, another large backpack. We'll take them so we can actually heal ourselves up. You pick up that thieves backpack, Leon, then you can have that other one. We've got so many backpacks now. This is <laughs> this is kind of crazy. Right, so we've got two characters down. Leon, pick up Isaiah. There's Ruka, pick up Green. That's find somewhere where we can rest up, I guess. We'll put our sleeping bags down, then at least the injured people can rest up for a bit. Right, put him in. Leon, put him in. Right, so the rest of our squad who aren't injured and lying around, we need to find someone fairly weak that we can take out. Starving bandits, that's a lot of them. That's what I was after, like, all of them. I don't think we stand a chance in our current state. I mean, if Isaiah can heal up quick enough, I think we should probably give it a shot. Green's probably going to be out of the camp for a little while. The rest of our team aren't doing too badly. We're going to wait a couple of seconds for Isaiah to heal up a little bit more, and then we're going to take the whole squad, or apart from Green and Ace, they're going to stay behind. Uh, the rest of them are going to go in and uh, try and take out the starving bandits. What I'm going to do quickly is make sure we don't have any food on us, because they're just going to loot that as soon as we go down. Good. And let's go attack these starving bandits. There's a lot of them. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm a bit worried we're going to get absolutely annihilated. Fleabag, actually, I might get to stay behind, because I'm a little bit worried that he might get looted for his meat, which would not be good. Attack unprovoked. Attack all. Go. <laughs> oh, we're going to get annihilated, aren't we? God, look, he's huge. That Shek. Oh, God. Okay, Ruka's already down. Ryoshi's already down. Uh, yeah, your chest's been caved in, but not to a stupid degree. So you should heal up, actually, okay, I think. Muse down. Isaiah's still somehow going. Oh, I say that, and then instantly goes down. 
Obviously, Leon's still up because he's he's a tank. God, he's doing well, though. And he's down. Right, they're going to loot us. They might take some cats from us. Paid a thousand cats. Yeah, I thought they might take some money from us. And what are they doing? What are they doing? Following leader. Okay, I think they're going to leave us alone. I'm really hoping they are. Yeah, that's all right. Right, you're rebooting. Okay, heal yourself up. How's everyone else doing? Ruka's unconscious. Isaiah's is good. Okay, fine. Ruka's fine. Ruka's up. Protecting out. What do you mean protecting allies? God, they come for us. No, 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 no. Uh, play back run. I don't want you dying. Right, you lot, stay over there. Stay low. Just sneak and hold. Poor sweet green. Ace is unconscious. Green is still somehow going. And he's down. Okay, they should leave us alone. Green, don't get back up. Don't be a hero, you fool. God, what are you doing, Green? Green, just go down. Oh, God. <laughs> Paid another thousand cats for the privilege of... And, uh, oh, God, we're losing so much money doing this. Right, so they're all going away. That's all right. Right, we're going to leave them alone. Paid another thousand. We've paid so much money. That's 5k cats gone. Right, how are you lot doing? You're unconscious. Ace is unconscious for a little bit longer, but he should be fine. It's green, I'm worried about. He took an absolute beating. <laughs> Maybe we weren't ready for this. Did our stats actually go up at all doing that? Uh, to be fair, yeah. Our toughness went up quite a bit doing all that. I think that was probably worth it. Especially Isaiah. Isaiah's at 16 toughness. Incredible. Green, what's your toughness? Toughness at 7. That's pretty good considering you just got absolutely beaten to shreds. Nomads, nomads, nomads. Right, so a load of nomads. Can we trade? We might be able to get a uh, bone dog backpack for a flea bag at this point. Here we go. So, uh, Crimper, Crab, Land Bat, Leviathan, Garu, Garu, Beak Thing, Crab, Alpha Bull, Beak Thing, Leviathan, Bone Dog. We've got a couple that are Bone Dog. Uh, Blood Spider, Crimper. There's so many. Okay, thank you. So, let's try and trade this with flea bag then. And hopefully, you can actually wear this backpack. Oh, <laughs> it works. And look at that. You can actually be a pack animal. Oh, thank goodness. And we just need to look out for some more opportunities, probably not that ambitious, to try and level up some of our skills. Probably a slightly smaller group, like uh, maybe 10 max, and we should be fine. But yeah, like 30, that was just too many. So that was a risk, but I think it was a risk worth taking. Just lick our wounds, and we'll go again, I think. Okay, just as luck would have it, it seems that uh, we've had a bunch of hill marauders come upon our camp, and... Um, yeah, our team have just attacked them out of the blue. So, we're going to get up from Sneak. You're going to go there. Green, you are going to rest because you can... Actually, no, you, you can walk. Let's just get you to attack them. Right, go on. Let's do this thing. We actually attack that one before they go for the range characters. There we go. Right, we're fine. We're fine. Mew, why don't hold? Are any of you on hold? Because I don't want you on hold. But we should be all right. These characters don't look like the strongest in the world. Right, we're doing all right. No one's down yet, thankfully. Ah, uh, come on. We're actually taking out quite a few of them. Be nice if we can take out the range characters a bit. Ruka is down. Okay, that's not great. They're barely doing any damage to us, though, which is pretty impressive, considering. I think that's the range characters, which Leon is on, thankfully. Fleabag is bleeding. Fleabag's just annihilating everyone, which is nice. And I think that's basically everyone down. Wait, the hell? Who are you? Getting a weapon. Oh, piss off. What? <laughs> He just ran in and started stealing stuff. Getting a, getting a weapon? Go away. And why they just stole all our stuff then? That was bizarre. They didn't steal Ruka's weapon. That's, that's all right. I was worried that's what they were doing. Let's just loot the others quickly before they get back up. You've got a sledgehammer as a weapon. <laughs> and you are a hiver as well. Let's loot the rest of these heal up. I'm a little bit worried about those looters that he just ran in, stole some stuff, and then ran away. It's a bit disconcerting. Because if they do that to us when we're down, we could be screwed. Ryoshi doesn't want to lose his weapon and all that stuff. So, is Ruka all right? No one is healing her. Can someone come and heal her, please? Yeah, Leon, actually, you pick up Ruka. Because I don't want anyone stealing her stuff. We'll go back over here. We'll wait for a few hours. And then I think we will uh, continue. Right. Um, something seems to have happened. <laughs> I don't quite know. A sailback poacher apparently attempted to loot Green, I think, while he was asleep. Uh, so that meant that he's got absolutely wailed on by all our team. The problem is, there's another, uh, oh, large bunch of them just here. I think, do they all have ranged? Full range, oh, Jesus, that's a lot of range. I'm not sure how good their attack's going to be if they're based on range. 
Uh, but whatever the case, this guy is absolute toast. Green, you're going to have to get up, unfortunately. Uh, I was just about to say, let's head off, but this has happened. So, all the bags are back on the floor. Right, he's been wailed on, but he's still going. There we go. Right, uh, he's got a spring bat. We're going to take that, chuck on the ground. How are we going to do this? We actually go after that one. Leon, I want you to run over there and attack that one quickly. Green, I need you to come over here and also attack, please. Don't hold. Ruka, I want you to go and attack that one. Mew, I want you to go and attack that one, please. The rest of you, like Isaiah and Ryoshi, can focus on these ones. Fleabag can help as well. Okay, where are you going? You're attacking enemies. Are you seriously attacking the... You're attacking the bulls. You are an idiot. Oh my god. They're asking to be slaughtered. Okay, well, the bull's going to help us then. That's fine with me. <laughs> Fleabag's down and dying. Uh, Green, I need you to come over and heal Fleabag quickly. Ryoshi, uh, loot them, please. Yeah, just, and they just absolutely annihilated them. Of course they did. Why would they attack the bulls? Idiots, Jesus. It's just, it's just moronic. Why would you do that? <laughs> got no idea why they would think that's a good idea. I'm really hoping that means that the bulls aren't going to attack us now. It doesn't look like it. Let's go loot the ones that just absolutely got annihilated over here. You've got a fuel pellet and also a thieves backpack, which I will take. Thank you. Uh, so you've got standard, standard, standard. Better than shoddy, so let's take that. Thank you. Here we go. And a fuel, fuel pellet. It weighs 18 kilograms. Well, that's probably good for us. If we're sneaky, we could get some meat from this. There we go. I don't think the bulls are going to actually mind that much. There we go. Cool. So they, they got us some food as well, which is always nice. Heal flea bag, for God's sake. I don't want flea bag dying. He's just got a bag after all this time. Right, okay. We, he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine. I think then... Let's pick up our bags and let's just go. We did all right in that fight, mainly because of the bulls. So let's get our bags. Oh, Leon, you didn't get your Nadachi back. Get that back. We'll pick up the other spring bats. Right, and I think that's everything. So Fleabag is unconscious. Ruka, you can pick up Fleabag. And also we could probably loot this guy. Leon, loot that one. I think that us head back then at that point because we've done pretty well. All right, so let's have a little quick look at the stats then. So I think... We've got to like about 16, 15 in terms of melee attack and stuff. Our toughness has gone up significantly. Isaiah is like amazing now. I wanted to get to about 20 melee attack today, so we're not far off that. Leon is basically there already. Toughness 17, dexterity 21, melee attack 19. Yeah, I think everyone's done pretty well considering. So we should probably start thinking about heading back. We have lost quite a lot of cats from losing and things. And also we've got quite a lot of loot that we need to sell and redistribute because we've got some decent weapons now, some significant upgrades, especially for our range characters with spring bats and things that we could use. And also we need to get some food in these guys because I don't think we've got a huge amount of food left. No. So... Let's go back to Cliff's Edge, uh, and we will kind of fix ourselves up. I've just had a really stupid idea. There's a lone cage beast down here. Could we take it on? I think I think we should give it a go. Right, I've waited all night so that it's actually light enough that we can actually see what we're doing. Isaiah, I need you on block as much as you can, please. Just attack this thing. We are so dead. Uh, Isaiah, I need you to taunt... Uh, I need you to taunt as well. 41. It didn't attack. Okay, its attacks aren't as bad as I thought they were going to be. Oh, we're doing fine. I thought we were going to lose, like, we were going to die really quickly. Oh, we did it. Easily. Uh, Fleabag took a massive hit to the leg. But apart from that, oh, we did really well then. And look at that, where it got some half... <laughs> it got half-eaten books. Uh... Well, that's a lot of food, whatever the case. Awesome. That poor Kedri's head. Yeah, we basically focused entirely on its head. If we'd gone for any other point, we would have just probably lost that fight. But head is a weak point. We absolutely annihilated it, and we got it. Let's head back to Cliff's Edge, then. Once at Cliff's Edge, the group took a hard-earned rest. They'd had an intense few days training in the desert. 
and they all felt like they improved because of it. After Ruka commented on how much stronger she felt, the people at the table next to them mocked them, saying the only thing they were fit for was peeling potatoes in the bar downstairs. Ryoshi pondered this, and after a good drink and a good laugh, the team decided that that's what they would be known as from now on, the Potato Peelers. So thank you so much for watching guys, if you like what's in please leave a like and subscribe, and massive thank you to all my Patreons. Drew, Clint, David, Len, Valise, Lorby Lord, T Chaos, Toolman, Nacho Cheese, Mikey Soundtrack, King of Thorns, Skylar Burchell, Charles, Mint Salad, Lats, and Brian. Cheers, guys. You guys are just amazing. Thank you so much for all your support. It really does mean a lot to me. So just thank you, thank you so much. So yeah, I will see you next episode. Cheers. Bye bye.